You are about to engage in the guidebook unit, The Making of a Scientist. The purpose of this video is to help you to better understand what a scientist does, why they are important, and how they use the inquiry process to solve problems. In the upcoming unit, you will learn about the different scientific theories and how they have changed over time, as well as how the inquiry process drives the scientist's thinking. Be sure you have your handout available and something to write with for the video. What do you think of when you hear the word scientist in your head? Scientists can be men or women, young or old, and can repre represent many different ethnicities. They can work in labs, hospitals, nature, and even outer space. Scientists are all around us. There are many different kinds of scientists and scientific jobs. Many scientists spend most of their time researching and becoming experts in their field. Meteorologists help us understand the weather. Forensic scientists help the police to solve crimes. Research scientists help find cures for diseases. And botanists help communities to develop more effective ways to produce healthy foods. Scientists discover new species, protect our environment, and use technology, and even save lives. Scientists are important because they can help us understand our world and how it works. They try to answer questions that we do not know the answer to in order to improve our lives and our knowledge. Can you imagine your life without electricity, cars, or even medicine? All of these exist because of scientists. Now you are ready to think about some ways scientists are important in our lives. Brainstorm some things you have learned and some things you know about scientists on your recording sheet by completing the prompt, a scientist is a person who. Pause this video to record your ideas on your handout at the first stop sign. Then hit play when you are ready to continue. Some ideas may have included, scientists can be men or women, young or old. They can work in many different places like labs, hospitals, nature, and even outer space. As you engage in the ELA Guidebooks unit, the making of a scientist, you will need to know how the, to think like a scientist. Scientists use a special process called inquiry to study the world around them. Inquiry is a scientific word for asking questions and trying to find the answers to those questions. Let's take a closer look at these steps of the inquiry process. The inquiry process begins with questions. Scientists ask themselves a question or inquiries about what, why things happen, ways to improve, or how to solve problems. A scientist will develop a hypothesis or an educated guess based on what they know and observe. For example, we may wonder, what types of drinks are the worst for our teeth? As we begin the inquiry process, we can think about this question and make predictions about the answer. We might think that soda is the worst for our teeth because it has a lot of sugar. This is called our hypothesis or our educated guess. Next, a scientist will take action in order to find answers to the question. They research and conduct experiments to test their hypotheses. Now, let's think back to our question. If we want to know which drink is the worst for our teeth, we might want to make a plan to research the amount of sugar in a variety of drinks. We might also test our hypothesis by soaking eggshells in different liquids to see what happens to them. It will be easier to use eggshells instead of someone's teeth. Next, scientists use their evidence to draw conclusions or make meaning of their results. We can see that in the data chart that orange juice dissolved the shells the fastest. Our hypothesis was incorrect because we thought that soda would dissolve the shells the fastest. Scientists develop an explanation by connecting these new findings to existing scientific theories and ideas to help them explain their results. For example, we might conclude that orange juice dissolved the shells fastest because it is acid, acidic. These results often can lead scientists to new questions. For example, did we choose the best liquids or would we get the same results with real teeth? 
Scientists communicate with each other in order to share their findings, compare results, and improve methods in order to be as accurate and effective as possible. Once the inquiry process is completed, it begins again with new questions. Now you are ready to think like a scientist. Complete your handout by matching an example to each step of the inquiry process. Pause this video to record your answers on your handout at the second stop sign, then hit play when you are ready to continue. Think you've got it? Take a moment to check your answers and think about the inquiry process. First, we ask a question. Which laundry detergent gets out stains the best? Next, we engage in a process to answer that question by concluding an experiment or by staining shirts and washing them in five different detergents. Then we draw conclusions about what happened. Tied with bleach removed the most stains in our experiment. This helps us to develop an explanation about why we think it happened. This experiment led us to see that bleach is, is an effective ingredient in removing stains from clothing. Lastly, we share our findings by presenting our information to a team of scientists working on developing new detergent formulas. You have learned about the important role scientists play in our lives and the inquiry process they follow. As you read the text in the ELA Guidebook Unit, The Making of a Scientist, you will use this information as you analyze scientific theories, explain how they have changed over time, and illustrate how scientists use the inquiry process to drive their thinking. When you finish this video, be sure to turn in your completed handout to your teacher.